Why, hello there, Anxious Cynic, back again with another Minimator tutorial. So as you may have seen from the title of this video, of course, and from last week's teaser, today we're going to be showing off a 3D bow and arrow rig that I made. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to go through every step with you guys this time, so that way maybe it'll help answer your questions without... Uh, you having to go to other videos and stuff. So we're going to import our bow rig first. So what we're going to do is go over here to this button here to import an asset. All right, so I've navigated to my 3D bow rig folder, and this is what you should have in the included download in this video. Download should be in the description, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and import my bow rig. So we're going to click on our 3D bow rig object, open, and there it is. I uh, actually have this kind of not 100% right, but these little differences should be corrected in the version that you download. So ignore these bits. I'm unprofessional. I can't help it. So anyway, here we go. We got the bow rig and that's it. Congratulations. That is the end of the tutorial. Okay, never mind. So before we get started with this, let's go ahead and just import all of our assets. So we're going to use the same process. We're going to import our arrow. And once again, these little differences here will be cleared up in the downloaded version that you will have or should have, can have. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble for some reason. It doesn't want to save the scaling that I have on this. So hopefully that'll be sorted out by the time you guys get this. If not, it's basically just 1.5 on the X. I've changed it a few times and it doesn't seem to save it unless it's happening over these keyframes, which would be an explanation. All right, so we've got our bow and arrow rig both imported and here's the rig and here's all the parts here. You have the base rig, which is um, actually the actual part is this handle here. And then we have the bottom part that has its string and the other elements here for the three dimensional Ness, as you can see there, if I turn on rendering, you should be able to see it a little better. Look at that. Look how much better that looks with rendering. Anyway, so you'll have two sets, the top of the bow and the bottom of the bow. And the reason it's that way is so that you can animate it to have the springiness. But basically what you're going to be messing with is just these two bits here and these two string bits. So these names here may be different uh, in the version that you download. I still got to finish the rig. I have, you know, I, I've been busy. I haven't finished it completely yet, but it's done enough to show you guys how to use it. This is, it is what it is. I just got to do some cleanup on the files and whatnot. Anyway, point is, is the names may be different, but it's going to be these two main ones. Like if you drop down the 3D bow rig, you're going to have these two main ones. It's going to be the bottom and the top. So whatever it's called, which it should be pretty much like this, 3D bow rig top, and then it'll say 3D bow rig bottom. Click on those, and what you want to do is try to keep them pretty much the same. So let's say this one's going to bend back 20 degrees. So what we're going to do with this one is bend it 20 degrees. Now this one's going to go in the negative, so it'll be negative 20. Right, this may be kind of exaggerated here, but this is... You know, just to show you guys how to use it. All right. So now that we've got that done, we're going to click both of our strings. String one, string two. I'm holding shift. So if I click on one, I hold the shift key. I click on the next one. And with these, you can actually just select both of them and move them together. So uh, it makes it a little bit easier. So with this, you know, I can do like this and just have it uh, meet up here in the center. Or I can adjust the Z. Uh, scaling. So yours probably looks like this at first, but uh, you just click on this button here and you'll get the drop down for the X, Y, and Z scale coordinates. And all you have to do is adjust the Z and it will lengthen or shorten whatever you need to do here. Um, so if I didn't want this to be bent quite as far, all I do is bring it into wherever I want it and then I can shorten this up and perfect. The string is exactly how I need it to be for the particular bin that I'm trying to do. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you would adjust the bow here and make everything work. Let's see if we can go ahead and undo all this. There we go. All right. So there's that. And as usual, of course, if you wanted to 
parent this, you just select the base 3D bow rig here, the, the very first thing in here, not none of the drop downs, just this one. And you parent it to your character or wherever you want. Let's just parent it to his right arm. And since it wasn't in the zero space, we're gonna go ahead and zero out its coordinates. And there you go. And then we can rotate it or do whatever we need to do with it. And just say he's carrying it around like this. And it's great. And then we can select his arm and he bends it and he's holding his bow, man. And it's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> all right. Um, so there you go. There's that. And then, of course, the arrow rig is pretty self-explanatory. You got the 3D arrow here and you can parent it to whatever you need to. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to shoot a bow, you'll, if I'm not going to explain it in this video, but if you want to go back and watch my original bow shooting tutorial, then you'll need to duplicate the arrow and have one parented to the bow for the, the drawback most likely. Or you could uh, animate it just with one. It just might be a little more difficult to do. But, uh, you know, if you had a rig for a... Uh, a quiver, I think is what they call it. You could have the arrow like on his back. He can pull it out and put it in the bow and stuff. So let me see if I can go ahead and put together a little bit of an animation here to make sure I go over everything with you guys and I will be right back. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got the bow parented to Steve and he's holding it and he's ready to go. Or basically, you know, he does this number here. And what we're gonna have happen is we've got the duplicated duplicated <laughs> arrow and basically Steve pulls it back everything is good to go this is obviously a very rough animation I've just threw it together real quick uh, but just for the sake of it uh, he's pulling the the arrow back with the bow and he's gonna fling it so he's gonna take it and what we're gonna do is copy paste our original positions for the bow I'm gonna copy that and paste it and we're gonna bring it in and we selected the wrong one I apologize there we go get that one in there all right so it's just kind of it's gonna fling let's go ahead and get rid of that extra keyframe we don't need uh, anyway so we're gonna take this and it's gonna go pretty quickly so he lets it go you know something like that pretty quickly you may want it to go faster than that but just for the sake of showing this off uh, okay, so what we want to do is our arrow that we've animated here, we want to go ahead and have it fling out. So what I could do is use the one that's parented and have it animate to this point, and then once it's here, animate this one going. But I'm just going to try to animate the, uh, the one that we don't have parented. So let's go ahead and just take that and see if we can fling it out. So one thing I have done to my disadvantage here is have him turn to where moving the arrow is going to be a little difficult due to the off-grid pattern that I have, but we're just going to try to eyeball it here. Something like that. Let's uh, see if we can get behind Steve to get an idea of where it should be going. Basically what we have going on here is the just flings and of course, this is not well timed here. You might would want it to the, the string to stay on the back of it the whole time. But essentially, if we just sit here and watch this, let's see what it looks like here. He draws it back and then fling. <laughs> that obviously doesn't go nearly fast enough, but that's what you would do. Uh, that's one way of doing it with the duplicated arrow. Uh, like I said, you, you may not have to duplicate the arrow if that's how you want to do it. Um, but that's just the way I do it. It makes things a little simpler to make sure everything stays intact. Obviously, uh, you could animate a bow shooting much better than this. This is just to show you guys how the rig itself works. So I apologize for the wonky animation. But yeah, that's just a, a little example, a very poor example. This is this is comedy um, of how you might would animate this and make it work. But yeah, that's the rig. You got these bendable bits and all the goodness that you saw in the the teaser uh one thing i just wanted to note for you guys is these this little wood pixel here that bends back with it i know that might look kind of odd uh you know maybe in the future i will do another bow rig and go with a different design but i just wanted something that was the exact like basic design that you have in minecraft and i kind of thought that that 
the way it comes out, even though it clips into the handle, I know. Uh, I thought it looked kind of interesting. So I left it. That was, that was it. It's just some kind of artistic choice, you might say, to leave that the way it was. Um, but yeah, any criticism or feedback or whatever you have is greatly appreciated. And I look forward to it. And that's it. This felt like a very bumpy tutorial. Some I ran into some problems. You know, the rig's not 100% like ready to go yet. But hopefully that helped. Hopefully you guys got the, the idea. And I hope you use the rig. If you do, let me know. I'd like to see how you use it in your animations. And that's it. So thanks for joining me. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it <laughs> to some extent, somehow, in some way. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you guys in the next video.